Which Carhartt bibs and coveralls are warmest? Now, Carhartt doesn't have as many bibs and coveralls as they do jackets, but they still have a lot of them and it can be confusing, especially when you're trying to pick out the best ones for your needs. So in this video, we're gonna rank from lightest to warmest Carhartt bibs and coveralls. And we're actually gonna do both men's and women's in this video because there aren't so many of them. So rather than breaking them off into two separate videos, we're gonna put them in one. And actually I was kind of surprised to find that the warmth ratings between the two are pretty damn similar. So I think it'll be valuable to keep them in the same video. Now, of course, I need to mention that everybody's different depending on your physiology and the job that you're doing and your exertion. So some people run hot, some people run cold. This is meant as a guide to just kind of point you in the right direction as to which one might be best for your needs. Additionally, all of these products will be listed and linked in the description below, and I'll also put them in a pinned comment so you can go ahead and check them out right from this video. The raw data was provided to me from Carhartt and was gathered at the Central Michigan University Center for Merchandising and Design Technology, where they tested 56 different Carhartt items. A high-tech mannequin with thermal sensors was equipped with each garment, and this adult-sized mannequin is the stuff of nightmares, but it can accurately measure the insulating properties of clothing and can even sweat to simulate exertion. It was equipped with a typical base layer consisting of a cotton mock turtleneck, five pocket jeans, cotton briefs, cotton poly mid-calf socks, fleece mittens, hat, and leather work boots for the jacket and coverall tests. The bib tests added an insulated nylon shell jacket to the same ensemble. The mannequin was then placed inside of a temperature controlled chamber where the results were recorded and repeated at least three times. A male mannequin was used for the men's clothing and a female mannequin for women's clothing. The base ensemble equated to a 0.8 clo warmth rating in the jackets and bibs. For this video, we'll be focusing on bibs and coveralls. The results of the standardized total thermal resistance of the clothing and surface air layer around the mannequin, or CLO, were given a numerical value, which is what we'll use to rank them from lightest to warmest. Number 10, the Firm Duck Biberol. Now this has a CLO of 2.06, the price on this is $120, and the men's Biberols have an extended fly which goes up the entire front to make them a combination of bib and coverall. Biberol, get it? Number nine is the Women's Wildwood Biberol, which carries a clo of 2.23. The price on these is $120, and the Women's Biberols are essentially the same as the Men's, but in unique cut and sizes. Number eight, the Firm Duck Insulated Bib with a clo of 2.25. The price on this is $110. Now this is the Carhartt 12-ounce Firm Duck Canvas with a polyester insulation. In my neck of the woods, people refer to these simply as their Carhartts. Number seven is the FR Duck Bib Lined Overall with a clo of 2.33, a price of $260. Now this is the FR 13 ounce duck canvas bib for those who need that kind of protection. Number six, the Women's Washed Duck Insulated Bibs. These carry a clo of 2.34, the price is $100. Now this is the legendary Carhartt Duck Canvas, softened up a bit and lined with 3M Thinsulate. Number five is the Men's Washed Duck Insulated Bib. Clo of 2.34, a price of $110. Again, the legendary Carhartt duck canvas softened up with 3M insulation. Number four is the Women's Super Ducks bibs with a clo of 2.36, a price of $180. Now, Super Ducks is Carhartt's outdoor line, and these bibs use a couple of different insulations to achieve their impressive warmth rating. Where all of the previous models have insulation up to the waist, the Super Ducks line add their Sherpa lining to the top section, so you get a lot of warmth. Number three is the men's Super Ducks bibs with a clo of 2.36, a price of $180. All of the same stuff, two kinds of insulation, superior warmth, DWR finish, flexible. These are perfect for skiing or hiking or whatever you got to do. Number two is the FR Quick Duck Lined Bib Overall with a clo of 2.46, a price of $290. The warmest bibs is actually a tie between these FR Quick Duck bibs and the Yukon series. Of course, if you don't need the FR protection, then there's no reason to spend the extra money on these. But if you do need a FR, these are as warm as the warmest bibs that Carhartt offers. Number one is the Yukon Biberol with a clo of 2.46 and a price of $199. Now tied for the warmest bibs is the Yukon Biberols, which are meant for the elements and constant abrasion, I swear. You just can't wear through the Yukon shell material. It's incredible. 500 denier nylon, it's just, 
It's almost impervious to wear. Now, coveralls are sort of a specific application. Some people love them and some people don't. Basically, it's like bibs and a jacket combined in one. Number three is the washed duck coveralls with a clow of 2.21, a price of $200. And this has that washed duck canvas for the pre-broken in feel and a quilted polyester lining for an entirely seamless cold weather solution. Number two is the women's Yukon coveralls with a clow of 2.25, a price of $250. Now the Yukon series delivers the warmest lining that Carhartt offers with 150 grams of 3M Thinsulate and six and a half ounce Cordura nylon shell. Number one is the men's Yukon coveralls with a clow of 2.36 and a price of $250. Again, 150 grams of 3M insulation and a six and a half ounce Cordura nylon shell. I actually bought a pair of Yukon coveralls when I had to run four inch rigid pipe in a parking garage in January. And the completely enclosed design kept warm air trapped inside and locked the cold out. These are outstanding. I really hope that you got some value out of this and that it will guide you on your way to getting the right bibs for yourself. Now, an interesting little aside, or at least anecdotally, I think it's pretty interesting. Here in New England, I've heard many, many people refer to their insulated bibs simply as their car hearts, okay? So it's like, oh man, it's a pretty cold morning. I'm gonna go to my truck and get my car hearts. Now, it's like they, they think of bibs as Carhartts. They know that they make many other products, but it's kind of funny. It's something that I've heard many people say up here. I wonder if it's the same where you live. If it is, let me know. Anyway, I also have a whole playlist dedicated to Carhartt gear because I'm a fan of the brand and stuff. So um, you can check that out here if you want to. There's a lot of stuff in there from jackets to pants to you name it. I've tried to really cover as much as I could. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you next time.